Welcome to the month of Mega Drive, day 13, Golden Axe 2. Great beat em up. Beat em up slash hack and slash kind of a deal. Three characters to select from. You got the warrior, you got the dwarf, and you got this broad. Best magic user is the broad. Second best magic user is the fighter dude. I always use the dwarf. He's got the best attack and the worst magic. This was the sequel to the arcade Smash Golden Axe, but there was no arcade version of Golden Axe 2. Controls are fairly simple, but I never pulled off the dash on a control pad. To dash, you press the direction twice. Boom! Headbutt. A is your magic, C is jump, B is attack. As you can hear, the music is awesome. But, no surprise, it's Sega. Those wizard dudes, you hit them, and you get magic refills, but I don't use magic. And of course, the premise is the same as the first game. You want to eventually destroy Death Adder. And there is a third game in this series, but it's Japanese only. New copies are still plentiful on eBay. You're going to end up paying about 25 bucks, I reckon. I think that's what I paid for mine. And you want to watch out for the Hong Kong version. And you can get on these lizards and shit. There's one that breathes fire. And you won't actually yourself take damage when you're on the lizards. Just the lizard will take damage. It doesn't have an actual health meter. And I don't really care if I have the lizard anyway. Boom. And it stays this whole fantasy scene. There's a little bonus stage in between stages where you can pick up health and magic. It gets really tough near the end. Great co-op game. Also, a great game if you have an arcade stick. I repeat, I never could manage to pull off, pull off the uh, rush attack on a gamepad. It's like, huh, press it twice? Okay. It's just a lot easier when you have precision control. And that's a demonstration of face level magic. The longer you hold A, the better your magic turns out. And that's a spin move you can do. And there I just used level 3 magic. That was level 3 magic. See, with his, his attacks, the longer you hold, the bigger his boulders get. Boo. So, it's a common game. If you pay more than eight bucks, you're really getting ripped off, in my opinion. But it's also a very good game, so don't hesitate to buy it.